The Oakland Raiders really have had such a charmed season. At least it was charmed until three weeks ago. Until Christmas, it was the best season. You think about a city that has seen its beloved Raiders in the toilet for 15 years. I mean, if you're an Oakland Raider fan, you've been through a lot. You remember the 70s when you were great, but not quite good enough to get over the hump because you couldn't get past the dynasty undefeated Don Shula Miami Dolphins. And then you couldn't get past the hated Pittsburgh Steelers. And then finally, in 76, you get over the hump and you are the Super Bowl champs. And then that starts a run where you win also an 80 and then 83, but you've lost your team. Your beloved Raiders leave for Los Angeles in 1983. You can't believe it. So then they're gone for 15 years almost, 12 years. Then they come back. And then you get to go to another Super Bowl in 02. And you've got John Gruden, everything's feeling good. And then you lose Gruden. And you've got Bill Callahan. And then Gruden comes back to haunt your nightmares to beat you in a Super Bowl. Callahan is a stiff. He blows up. He implodes. And you go into the toilet, into the tank for 15 years, basically. Only to be resurrected now with an owner that cuts his hair with a cereal bowl, that looks like he ate too much paste as a child, you have finally got a winner on your hands. You're pulling things out late in games. You're exciting again. You're a true Super Bowl contender, and you are potentially going to get revenge on Snowball this year. Christmas comes. Santa takes away Derek Carr. And you go from a true Super Bowl contender to lucky if you win a playoff game. I mean, that's tough. That's depressing. If you're a football fan, I don't care if you're a Raider fan or not. If you're a football fan, that's depressing. You wait all that time to finally have a winner. You get one. It's lining up for you. You could have the one seed and home field advantage coming through Oakland. And it's all taken away with one injury.